guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, today we're here in my backyard underneath the carport because I'm going to attempt to apply a ceramic coating while the car is still new and before it has uh, blemishes and stuff and the paint. Now, I'm not really good at stuff like this, so this is just a quick disclaimer. Don't necessarily do what I do. Just uh, watch what I do and maybe improve upon it. <laughs> the instructions say that it's best applied in the shade. That's what we're back here under the carport for, is there's some shade. So we're gonna start attempting this now. Oh man, it's windy out here. Uh, the instructions are just this one sheet here. It says pre-treatment, wash the vehicle thoroughly before. So I did that and I dried it the best I could without leaving any dust on the car. All right guys, so here we go. Here's the first instruction. Wrap the cloth around the sponge and apply four drops of Nano Bond. Apply in straight lines, first horizontally and then vertically to an area of about half the size of the hood. Okay. Number three, make sure to apply one to two drops whenever the sponge feels dry or you can't see any of the product being applied to the surface. Immediately after, buff the surface gently in a circular motion with a microfiber cloth. You apply it one direction, apply it the other direction, and then immediately after, buff the surface gently in a circular motion. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna attempt this. It doesn't sound like it's too difficult. So when I open the product here, you can see there's a little glass bottle and a sponge. And then underneath, there is a microfiber cloth already included. So their microfiber cloth might be better than mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and use theirs instead of mine. And there's also gloves. This cloth is the one you wrap the sponge in. You wrap the sponge in this cloth. You need to put on the gloves and then wipe it off with this one. So this uh, Nano Bond kit is pretty much a complete everything you need here. Guys, it's so windy out here. This is a nightmare. Everything I've tried to set down over there to work on, it's just fly, flying everywhere. So we just need to add drops. It says four. Let's see, what does it say? Put this around the sponge and add four drops to it. Uh, one, two. Okay. I don't know, is that four? That was like baby drops. Let's. It doesn't look wet. I'm gonna add more drops. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. I don't see it adding more product. Okay, now I'm going to add some more. I feel like you got to add more drops than what it says because I can't really see it adding to the car. And what's a drop anyway? These little half drops or a full drop. So now we're going to go this way. And then immediately buff it out. It said to do it in circular motions here. Uh, immediately buff the surface gently in circular motions. Okay, I don't think I missed any spots. What we're going to do, we're going to do both sides of the hood and then we're going to do the hood again just to make sure it is really good. Now the instructions don't say to do that so if that's the wrong thing to do don't listen to me, but I'm going to do both sides of the hood and then I'm going to do the hood again with a second coat. And we're going to start with up and down. Oh yeah, that's a lot better application now that the sponge is really wet. I'm going to do the whole hood again and 
when I do the front of the car I'll probably do it twice as well but I think the rest of the car I'll probably just put one coat on So here's the final product. I kind of got lazy as I got around the car, so the the best looking part's probably the front. Seriously, those two minivans are racing. Nice and shiny. I kind of feel bad for my uh, Tesla sitting over there now. A little bit neglected. <laughs> shiny, shiny, shiny. Look at that. It'll probably never look that good again. But there you have it. That is what a Nano Bond ceramic coating will do to your Mustang Mach E. Very pretty. All right, guys. Well, that was. Uh, a very tedious painstaking about three hours of my life but it looks really good so thanks for watching and i will see y'all in the next one